This is an IRLP tutorial on how to obtain a VPN certificate and install it on a Debian IRLP node. Uh, the IRLP VPN system was uh, developed in order to assist node owners who don't have control over their routers or have no way of obtaining a routable IP address or adjusting the port forwarding in a router. So the gist of it is uh, you have to request a VPN certificate from installs at irlp.net. Um, if the email address you send that from is valid, and in other words, if it's the same as the status page email address for your node, then uh, IRLP will issue you a VPN certificate along with a, a series of instructions about how to um, install it. So I'm going to show you that today. So the first thing you have to do is you have to start by sending an email to installs at irlp.net with the subject of something like, I want a VPN certificate for my node number 1234. Please. You press send. Uh, you will get an automatic response back from the IRLP server that will say the ticket is in the queue. Uh, and then eventually, you're going to get an email that looks something like, um, let me just grab it here. You're going to get an email back that uh, looks so something like this. It'll say, uh, here's your IRLP VPN configuration file. Please, please let us know. Uh, please read this email carefully. It contains a lot of information about uh, things as well. In the attachments, you'll have both a configuration file and a frequently asked questions PDF. Uh, most of what you're going to run into will be answered in here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to save this file. I'm going to just save it as a document file. I happen to already have it on my desktop. Um, one of the ways it talks about putting this onto the node is by using a program called WinSCP. So uh, I suggest if you're using Windows to download WinSCP, I'll quickly show you how it works. If you just double click on it, it opens up a window here. Uh, it asks you for the host name. I happen to know the IP address of the node behind the router here. So it's uh, 192.168.5.138. Yours, of course, will be different. Uh, your port number is whatever your SSH port is. Um, I leave 22 open. A lot of the PyRLP nodes and stuff like that use port 15426. Uh, this can be set by the node operator, but by default it's at 22. So I'm going to enter in my credentials for root, and I'm going to log in. And what I'm going to end up with is a split screen. So here I have the folder, IRL, like the documents folder where I save the configuration file. And here I have the root directory. So I want to go up one to the etc uh, open VPN. And I want to drag this configuration file over. Now, once that's done, I'm going to exit. I'm just going to show you. So I'm logged in as root here on the SSH window. I'm just going to go to the CD space slash etc slash open VPN. I'm just going to show you that this configuration file exists now in this node. Um, I can show you another quick way. Actually, I'm going to I'm going to open this file in uh, in Notepad. And what what you're going to see the configuration file is quite complex. Like there's a lot of information in it. I'm actually going to um, I'm just going to quickly change it. I'm just going to show you that you can you can use Paco, and I can just press Control A, Control C, and paste this information into here. And uh, that's another way you can get the this the configuration file. And I just threw it in my root directory here, but you could actually cut and paste. Uh, use WinSCP. There's multiple ways to get the configuration file. But the one I want to show you is the one that's actually in uh, etc. Open v, v, etc. Open VPN here. So now I'm going to reboot this node by just issuing the command reboot. It'll only take a second for it to come back up. So just give it a second, and I'll uh, show you how once the the node reboots, it will actually be issued a static routable IP address from the amper.org um, 44 net.
just have to wait for the node to come back. It'll just take a few minutes. There it is. So I'm going to log in as root again. Now when I run the if config command, you'll see I both have my local net address, which is what I used uh, to log in on SSH. And I'll also have this ton zero interface, in particular this 44 net IP address, which will now be a static IP address assigned to this node. And that's exactly how you get the open VPN going. Uh, one of the ways you can test is you can try telnet i era i telnet space irlp.net space 10,000 and this will spit back the IP address that your node is coming from. That's how to obtain, uh, receive, and upload your configuration file for OpenVPN and operate your node on the IRLP VPN service. If you have any questions about this, feel free to ask in the comments or send an email to installs at irlp.net.